Okay, as promised, you know, some people are wanting to know how far the simulator has come. Uh, I'll give you an overview again of exactly where we're at so far. As you can see, some of the panel is lit. We're using a Fidget 64 card. Down here in the cubby hole is a Leo Bodner BX086 card which uh, will take 92 switch inputs. Still have the throttle quadrant and console from Gulf Light. Right now I'm going to go ahead and stick with that for the time being. Other computers coming in, I'm going to be using a minimum of three, possibly four computers. As you can see right now, there is no header, glare shield uh, that's being worked on. The reason that we're so far behind is there's a good deal, massive amount of wiring to this thing, and once we got some of the wiring put in and the LEDs in place behind the panel it turned out that the desk that was being made was about three quarters of an inch too long so we had to do all kinds of modification in order to do that we had to take the panel off because it's in three section first officer section center section and um, captain section and then we um, had to tear all the wiring out and start from scratch so that's why it's taking a little longer than it probably normally would within the next couple of days we're actually going to wire the monitors up and get them going uh, right now I have a sample version of FSX expand uh, and I also have a sample version of Project Magenta. I'm going to try them both, see which one offers the best deal, both on price and how easy it is to get them working. The center panel has a 15-inch monitor that's sitting sideways right now, in other words, in its proper position. I had requested a couple of fellows that have already done their simulators to send me some information on how in the world do you get the 15 inch monitor when it's turned horizontally to keep from interfering with the gauge holes for the flight illusion instruments which is what I was initially planning and I started getting back replies of hey I'm using a 10 inch monitor well I don't know where you get a 10 inch monitor at but I can't find any as a matter of fact most major companies aren't even producing 15 inch monitors anymore unless you go to the old cathode ray tube type monitor which I don't want to use number one they're heavy and number two they're bulky so the only place that I could find a 15 inch monitor was through Dell. Most of them are now making 17 inch monitors, 19 inch, 24 inch, these 16 by 9 wide uh, doodads and of course that just isn't going to work. If push comes to shove the lower two gauges will have to be video monitors and the upper where you see the slot there for the upper gauge I can still fit the flight illusion instrument in there I'd prefer to have all three gauges from flight illusion but we're gonna have to experiment and see where we can go to anybody that watches this video you might want to email me through YouTube and let me know what you think and what I can do to correct that particular problem. Still of course have the PFC control yoke, everything is wired. I can fly now uh, which is better than nothing 
but um, sometime I expect in the early part of September to have the entire overhead in and then it's a process of wiring that and there's 101 LEDs alone on that mother and as you can see we've already had some problems with the wiring here so who knows what nightmares are going to occur with the overhead. Of course you can buy them already pre-made or you just plug and play but frankly I don't have six thousand dollars to do that. So anyway this is the way it looks right now. Uh, I'm getting used to flying it with the control yoke and the rudder pedals rather than the old uh, <coughs> excuse me uh, Satec yoke that I had and we'll keep you updated as time goes along and thanks for watching.